up till today, I, when I see people who, way, way people act when they get cheated on, I'm like, did, did you die? <laughs> I mean, I know it hurts. I, it sucks, I know. But did you die? Okay, so it happened. Okay, fine. You still wake up in the morning. You shower, you eat. It, you're fine. You're fine. But I see some people, oh, being cheated on is like the, the biggest fear. Of, if they get, oh, the fear of being cheated makes them do ugly things. Say, this is my time and my season to show forth the beauty of God. Let your beauty be the beauty of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. So there's a time, there's a season for this beauty, and that time is now. We lay hold on that by faith. So what we're going to do today in the next 10 minutes or so is to strengthen your faith and increase our understanding so that we can desire the beauty because God has given it. It's up to us to desire it. He desires beauty. Amen. Let's start by reading Ecclesiastes 3.11. If you enjoy the beauty, if you're going to enjoy the beauty, know the time, know the season. So this is not time to show forth your own physical beauty now. Be more conscious of the beauty of the Lord. It's not about physical adornment now. This is now about the beauty of the Lord that beautifies my life. Hallelujah. Let's read together. Here's what? And made everything beautiful in his time. Also he has set the world in the heart so that no man can find out the work that God made. He has done what? Made everything beautiful in his time. Hallelujah. It is the Lord that brings beauty. The Lord brings beauty in his time. So this is the time of manifesting, showing forth the beauty of God. So what that should do for you is should bring you closer to him. It's to provoke desire, provoke worship. What, what the desire for this beauty of the beauty of the Lord, to, to see his face, that's what makes you run to church. That's what when you, when, when you say one thing I desire, you know, to be in the courts. Better is one day, you know, in your courts than what? A thousand elsewhere. Why? Why? Why is being in church, in this house, among these beautiful, diverse faces, what makes this so beautiful? Is it just because you have a friend sitting beside you? Is it because Daniel Foster is just so nice to talk to? <laughs> Sometimes you come to church for socials. You know, when this church first, first uh, in our early days, we did a lot of uh, what we called Friends Day. And everything is just packed. Because afterwards, we'll go to the Rotary Park, play soccer, have food. It was beautiful because it's unity and it's nice. Right? But, you know, remember Christ rebuked the people? He said, you only came because I fed you last time. <laughs> you only came for the food. You should desire the word. So what should draw you? When you, when you, when you, you, you know, when it's Saturday and it's prayer mountain, what should make you run and say, Lord, it's your beauty I'm coming here for. This is my time. This is my, this is my time. This is the day of beauty. Lord, I want to see your beauty. We'll see, we'll talk more about that beauty. Let's quickly look at um, Psalms 96, verse 6 and verse 9. Let's read together. So Psalms 96, verse 6 and verse 9. It says, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are where? In his sanctuary. Honor and ma majesty are what? Before him. Strength and beauty are where? In his sanctuary. Hallelujah. Say, Father, I thank you for your beauty and your strength in your house. So that means that when you leave here, your face should glow more. Because, see, after, after Moses had 
spent time with the Lord, he came back, and what happened to his face? It's shown, hallelujah. His face shone. So your face should shine. Don't fake it. Don't leave here. Can't, don't, you don't have to fake it. It comes from within. You don't have to fake it. You don't have to, you don't have to try to manufacture it. Beauty comes from the spirit of God. Hallelujah. And in verse, verse 9 it says, O what? O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. So when you spend some time, you worship the Lord. And this is why there's an emphasis this month and moving forward on worship. That's something that our prophet has, has begun, to, begun to lay out. It's time for worship. Spend time really worshiping the Lord. In your personal time. Sing about his goodness. Sing about his loveliness. Say, Jesus, you are so lovely. You are so, you are so great. You are so kind. Oh, I love your heart. Oh, Jesus, you are so patient. Wow. You didn't have to do what you, what you did, but you did it for me. Jesus, why do you love me so much? Father, why do you love me so much? Why did you care to send your son for me? Why are you concerned? Why even listening to me at this moment? This is worship. This is worship. It's beautiful. Let's look at Revelation chapter 1, verse 14 and 17. We'll be very brief on the effects of beauty. Number one thing you have to understand is that I'll say this almost like a parable, but it is not enough to analyze the bad things that are missing. It is also important to understand the good things that are not present. Because you can look at your life and say, okay, there are these bad things I need to remove. Maybe I have anger. I get frustrated. Uh, negative emotions. Maybe it's um, lust. All these negative things. That's only level one. It's only level one. You, there are also some things that are missing. Now you have to say, wait, what are the things that are missing in my life? And one of the things that is a requirement for human living, for you to be a human being, is seeing beautiful things, seeing pleasantries. What happens to a human being that is born in a jail? Maximum security, violent, and after 20 years, comes out. What does that person represent? Throw me some words. Tough, violent, Ugly, yes. Huh? Demonic. Hmm? Main? Bane. <laughs> yes. Yes. He was born in the darkness. <laughs> Just one time I have to do the voice a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Because there is a requirement. Let's let's before we read Revelations, let's quickly jump to um this is one of my favorite scriptures. Let's quickly jump to, um, what is it? Isaiah 7.15. When God created you, right, and he, he, he breathed life into you, into us. So he's the ultimate designer. He knows what you need to be a normal human being. And he knows what you need to be a good Christian. To be Christ-like, to grow into Christ. One of those requirements is to see his face. Spending your time trying to fight your sins, trying to be a better person, you're spending all your time in war. It leads to conflict. People who live that way are always very judgmental, ugly. Because their whole life they're looking at their sin. So because they're looking at their sin, they see everyone else's sin. So they're very ugly. You won't talk to them. No pleasantry. But that's not how you produce life. That's not how you produce Jesus. You produce Jesus by looking at his beauty, looking at his face. What does it say in Isaiah? Honor and honey shall he give you, that he may know who is the evil and choose the good. Epignosis. What does it say? Butter and what? Honey. So when, when God made you and me, when God made Adam, what conditions did he create? 
Was it beautiful? Or was it unpleasant? He created us in the atmosphere of beauty, where we see his beauty and we see it all around us. And he designated that for us, that these are the conditions that produce best results. Because butter and honey, he eats so that you will know. The way human beings learn, the way we learn to choose good is by being introduced. We don't do things by knowledge. Everyone knows the right thing to do most of the time. You know you shouldn't smoke. It's what you are introduced to. It's what you experience in your home that you reproduce. It's not what your parents tell you. It's what you lived in the house. So when you live in a house where they fight, you end up being somebody's arg manager and fighter. You reproduce your atmosphere. Not what you've been taught. You, everyone, we all know. You, you know the right thing. You know right from wrong. You know most of the time, sometimes. <laughs> you know. But it's we, we, we produce by impartation. So when we look at his face, I'm trying to tell you that you have to look at beauty so that that beauty can be imparted into you. That's how you reproduce the same beauty. You look on his face because if that's missing in your life, you spend all your time just analyzing or working, something is missing. What's missing? Do you spend time looking at his beauty, just worshiping him, seeing his face? Lord, I see your face. Your life turns around. In that 30 minutes of looking at his face, your life turns around way more than two hours of whatever war you do with, with I'm fighting sin, fighting sin. In your relationships. That is so important. In Romans 2, 4, it says that his goodness and forbearance leads you to, rep his goodness of God leads to repentance. God knows its goodness, his beauty, that brings forth what he wants. Sometimes when people are trying to train, train children, you say you have to, you have to, um, you know, you got to put them through tough, tough situation so they can know how to um, handle themselves in a, t in, a t in a tough world. It's a misconception. So you have to, you know, let, let, them, let them cry so they can learn, to, you know, to you know, learn the character. They have to be strong because you want, you want to make them tough. You want to, build, you want to build, build some scar tissue because the world is a hard place, you know. But it doesn't really work that way. It, doesn't, it ends up not working because what you will find is those who have the healthiest mindsets, those who grow up in a beautiful, with a beautiful soul, peaceful, are far more equipped to deal with a lot of the wiles in the world. Like there are just there are certain things that, because I grew up in a beautiful home, I grew up in a loving home, so it's very difficult. I, I mean, up till today, I when I see people who the way, the way people act when they get cheated on, I'm like, did you die? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know it hurts. I, it sucks. I know, but did you die? Okay, so it happened. Okay, fine. You still wake up in the morning. You shower. You eat. It, you're fine. You're fine. But I see some people, oh, being cheated on is like the, the biggest fear. If they get, oh, the fear of being cheated makes them do ugly things. Because you're so gripped with this fear. That is an unhealthy mindset. That's what happens when you've been hurt at a very young age and you've been betrayed. So you don't know how to handle it. When you grew up and you're 25 and you've never been emotionally hurt, when it comes to you, like, oh, by the time it comes to you, you're, you're healthy, you're fine. So you know what? It's okay. You're more balanced. That, this is what God wants you to do in your spirit, man. It's to just see his beauty. Dwell in his beauty. See his face. Devil will, I mean, when we're praying this morning, the priest of his prayer, I didn't even, I did, some things God began to reveal to me about the power of his beauty, how his beauty will beat down your enemies. Isn't it crazy? Think about this. Think about this. When you spend time in the Lord's beauty, in his face, let's read, this is where we should go to Revelations 1.14, so we can see what it's like. See Jesus. Someone say, see Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Magnificent to behold. Say magnificent to behold. Let's all read together. His what? White like wool. White as snow. 
Can you wear it like them? Mm -hmm. And the sound of many waters. Wow. Out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shining in his strength. Whoa. Hey! <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I see the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. May we see the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's rise up. We're going we're gonna to worship. We're going to worship. We're going to round up. We're going to worship. We're going to round up. Mm. And his countenance was as the sun shining in his strength. What does it say in 17? And when I what? When I what? When I saw him. What happened? Hey. Mm. And he did what? He just laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, What? Fear not, for you are the first and the last. So says the first and the last. Fear not. Hallelujah. Say fear not. So says the first and the last. Every enemy before you, as you spend time in his beauty, every enemy before you, they will not be able to look you eye to eye. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Come on, come on. As you spend time looking at the Lord, you look at his face, your face shines. You don't even have to cast out. When they see you, they run. Amen. Your enemies will fall before you. Amen. Amen. What devil can stand before one who has spent time looking at his beauty? You have been in his presence. You see it upon you. Hallelujah. 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 Let the beauty of the Lord reflect upon you today. Amen. Come on, let's speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Hallelujah. 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 Say, Lord, your beauty. Lord, your, Lord, your beauty. Lord, your beauty. Lord, I see your beauty, O Lord. Lord, Lord, your beauty rests upon me. I see the face of Jesus. I see Jesus. Jesus, you are glorified. Just see Jesus. I say, Jesus, you are glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Jesus, your beauty. Let your beauty rest upon this house. Establish us, O Lord. Just begin to say, your beauty, Lord. Your beauty, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, your beauty. Oh, Jesus, your face is shine like a sun. I see Jesus. Declare my eyes are opened up. The eyes of my spirit man are opened up. I see Jesus. My eyes are opened up. Oh, Lord, help me to desire your beauty. Say, Lord, Lord, help me to desire your beauty. I will see your beauty. Lord, open down my eyes that I may see. Reveal more and more. Jesus, uh, unto me, uh, I love to worship I love you. Worship. I worship you.
atmosphere of the Lord's worship, the presence of the Lord Jesus is here. So this makes it the perfect time to introduce yourself to the Lord Jesus and be introduced to his grace and be introduced to his power. So if that is who you are, please come forward, raise your hand, come forward, and let the Lord Jesus introduce himself unto you. I will make a declaration. If you're watching online as well, even at a later date, Say this prayer with us. Say, Jesus, Jesus, let me see your face. Let me see your face. Let me see your beauty. Turn me away from all ugliness. Everything that is ugly in my life. Jesus, take, I take your beauty. Take it away from me. All ugly. All take it away from me, and I take your beauty. I believe you were crucified, and you died, and you were buried for my sins. But I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that the Lord Jesus, you were raised up again on the third day after you defeated all the enemies of my soul. I belong to you, the resurrected King. I worship you. You are the mighty warrior. You won the battle for me. You won my battle. Jesus, you are seated in glory. You are seated at the right hand of Father. And I am seated with you. I am seated in you. I am with the Father. I am with my God. I am with my Creator. Thank you, Jesus, for reconciling me to my God. I love you, Father. I love you, Father. I love you, Father. I love you, Father. With my father, near the altar with my father, near the altar with my father, Finally, if there's any part of your body that needs healing, place your hand on that part of the body now, and we'll pray for you. You will receive your healing. Father in heaven, I thank you for releasing the life, your life, through your spirit upon this body. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By that name, Jesus. Amen. Let life manifest in your body Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. eternal life of Jesus Amen. spring up within you now Thank you, Lord. in the name of Jesus Amen. by the sword of the Lord we curse every illegal growth in that body anything that doesn't belong any cancerous cell Amen. whatever it's called you are cursed to your roots now dry up Amen. in Jesus name Amen. By the blood of Jesus, Amen. your blood is cleansed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. By the beauty of the Lord, Amen. your skin is cleansed and purged. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's clap our hands together for Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah.